The type TB, introduced in 1970, followed 20 years' experience in design, development and service of a larger powered industrial gas turbine based on proven engineering. The engine layout comprises three major assemblies. They're mounted on a rigid underbase, the engine's footprint. The first assembly is the gearbox. Then the power turbine unit. And finally the gas generator. The concept behind the TB retains the traditional Ruston gas turbine features. Accessibility, reliability, and high utilization. Now with added features of standard proven pre-engineered equipment to suit almost any specification. The technology applied to the TB engine incorporates many important points of design. A compressor rotor is being bladed in a clean room environment. It's made up of individual discs. Disc construction allows closer quality control of the final assembly. The blades of the compressor driving turbines are extended at the root end to minimize the heat flow into the disc. Tip shrouds minimize gas leakage for greater overall efficiency. Compressor and compressor turbine rotors are dynamically balanced and given an overspeed test. Testing the rotating assembly is only the first in a series on speed, power and temperature of the components and the complete turbine. The blades of the compressor stator are retained by dovetailed roots and fitted in precision machined grooves in the stator casing. To facilitate servicing, the compressor casing is split horizontally along the center line of the rotor shaft. The 12-stage compressor is a subsonic aerodynamic design. It's less susceptible to blade vibration and airborne erosion than one of transonic design. Adjustable stator guide vanes give maximum compressor performance at start-up and during running. A horizontally split quadrant support casing carries the first row compressor turbine stator blades. The blades have been cast in a super alloy as four blade segments. Each segment is free to expand in a radial direction. Gas is transferred to the compressor turbine from the combustion chamber through heat-resistant steel quadrants. A unique support system allows freedom of expansion of the quadrants while maintaining alignment with the combustion chamber. The TB design uses four generously sized combustion chambers. The aerodynamics of the system make it possible for fuels other than natural gas and distillate oils to be burned. It includes a burner with a dual fuel capability. Important design features are also incorporated in the power turbine. It is carried from the gearbox by a triangulated tubular structure. Since the struts pass through the exhaust duct, they're encased in tubular outer shields and cooled by air. The whole assembly is designed to be compact and rigid with alignment maintained between static and rotating elements. The stub shaft carrying the power turbine is supported by two hydronamic bearings of the anti-whirl type. The 
turbine rotor discs are located by radial gear teeth couplings to allow differential expansion relative to each other. Power turbine stator rings are full circular assemblies. Stator blades are allowed to move radially in the stator segment to eliminate thermal stress. A hearth coupling locates the first stage rotor. Both discs are air-cooled to give long life and minimize transient temperature changes. These special features of design are important reasons for the success of the Type TB. The others are rugged construction and standardization. The power turbine is being bolted rigidly to the gearbox. Only two points of attachment are needed for them to carry the complete turbine. The gearbox forms one support, the other is a single swing link. With the gas turbine assembled, the next step is to provide the auxiliary systems in modular form. Lube oil modules, fuel control modules, the gas and electric starter motors. Ruston make their own solid state engine control equipment, including the governor, to ensure that control reliability matches that of the turbine itself. Special attention has been paid to the method of forming joints by wire wrapping and the use of plated edge connectors. To confirm that the rustronic equipment will stand up to the same conditions as the turbine, it is tested at high and low temperatures under simulated operating conditions. It contains the necessary turbine controls with many optional facilities, remote operation and linking with external process control systems. Startup itself is achieved through a single button start. After shipment, every machine manufactured at Lincoln is tested with the individual ancillary equipment ordered with the machine. The program maintains a high degree of technical performance to comply with internationally recognized standards. All tests are carried out using the fuel that the set is intended to run on in the field. Extensive facilities are also available for combined testing with generators, pumps and compressors. Ruston has the ability to provide a total system. Engineered as a standard package made up of standard options. A base engine with a generator or a pump or a compressor. The engine housing can be open-sided or totally enclosed and with or without a control room. At Lincoln, the final assembly takes place of the combination required by the end user. Ruston engineers are systems engineers. The same testing, engineering and package assembly facilities are available from Houston in Texas.